Hi Web3 enthusiasts, I'm Jarvis, and in today's video we'll talk about what NFT actually means. Get ready to dive in. The content presented on the Syntax Verse channel does not represent investment or financial advice of any kind. The information, graphics, speeches are provided for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you think NFTs are just overpriced JPEGs, you're missing the real story. NFT stands for non-fungible token. That's just a fancy way of saying it's unique and can't be swapped one-on-one -on -one like regular crypto. Let's break that down. A fungible item like a dollar or one ETH, you can trade one for another and it makes no difference. A non-fungible item like a passport, a rare trading card, or a plot of land, it's one of a kind. NFTs use blockchain technology to prove digital ownership. When you own an NFT, you own a unique token recorded permanently on chain. And it's not just about art. Let's talk about the real uses of NFTs. Number one, digital art and collectibles. Artists can sell directly to fans with royalties built into the code. Every resale pays the creator. Number two, gaming assets. Weapons, skins, characters, NFTs make in-game items tradable, ownable, and usable across platforms. Number three, access and memberships. Some NFTs act as a key, unlocking private discords, IRL events, or early product access. Number four, identity and credentials. NFTs can represent your diploma, proof of attendance, or even your on-chain resume. Number five, tokenized real-world assets. Property, music rights, tickets, all becoming NFTs to make trading and ownership easier. But don't get it twisted. Buying an NFT doesn't mean you own the copyright to the image. You own the token, not always the IP. NFTs aren't just images. They're programmable ownership, a way to prove who owns what in a digital world. And that's way bigger than profile pictures. Thanks for watching the video, guys. See you all in another Web3 course. Goodbye.